Hey guys, continuing with our volume accumulation series for our CrossFit gymnastics movements, uh, we're diving into strategy number one, which is mastering your singles. So uh, the way we utilize this is with an EMOM approach or a timed approach. So uh, we start you off with singles every minute on the minute until you're able to do that for 10 minutes getting a single every minute. So the first time you run through it, you might only get three or four reps, but as you continue to repeat that process, you'll get to the point where you're able to get a, a rep every single minute on the minute for 10 minutes and have accumulated 10 reps. Once you get to that point, you need to make that time window smaller so that you can get more reps done in the same amount of time. So I may have started out every minute on the minute, but then I'm gonna progress into every 40 seconds for 10 minutes, which would allow me to get up to 15 reps. This process continues to build on itself by subtracting time uh, from make, basically making it a shorter time in between when you're going to do your singles, uh, which then subsequently allows you to do more reps in that same time frame. So if we go then from 40 seconds to 30 seconds, I go from being able to get 15 reps to 20 reps. And when I go from 30 seconds to 20 seconds uh, for 10 minutes, I go from being able to get 20 reps inside of 10 minutes to 30 reps. And then finally we have every 15 seconds for 10 minutes where we're now able to potentially get 40 reps inside of that 10 minutes. Now, you wanna make sure you're able to get the max number of reps in the uh, phase of this strategy that you're in before you move to the next phase. So if you can only, if you're not getting a rep every 30 seconds for 10 minutes in this part of the phase, don't start trying to do this every 20 seconds. That would be silly and you'll just make this take longer, all right? So um, how to approach this, uh, you're going to want to make sure you have at least a 10 to 15 minute window to warm up for the movement that you're going to be practicing. If you're not actually warm for it and you don't have your body ready to make the shape well, um, it's going to be probably a wasted session. So make sure you're taking that time to prepare your body to do the movement that you're wanting to work on. And then secondly to that is we need to do some skill prep. So. Um, we're going to do two to three practice sets and what you're going to want to be practicing initially is just making sure that you can do that one rep of the movement you're going to work on but as you get further along in this progression or in this strategy um, you're going to want to start to try to link reps together so we're doing a lot of singles so you can accumulate more reps but we do want to start being able to develop that capacity to do two reps or three reps or four reps unbroken um, and we'll then progress that further with our next strategy, all right? The workout itself takes 10 minutes and you're gonna wanna shoot to do this thing one to two times a week. Um, earlier on, while you're still going every minute on the minute, you can definitely do this twice a week and not have any problems, but as you get a little bit further along through this strategy, and you start getting workouts where you're doing 30 or 40 reps, you might find that you're a little too sore to do it twice a week. That's okay, back it off to just once a week and um, that will still allow you to progress. So. You're gonna to wanna to choose whether you're gonna do this before or after workouts. For most of you guys, I'm gonna recommend doing it before your main workout so that you're as fresh as possible. Um, and it'll actually be a great warm up for whatever you're gonna do for the, the rest of the day. Um, but whether you do it before or after the workout, you need to pick one and stick with it because you're gonna wind up with wild variations of your score on this if you're alternating before or after workout each day, okay? All right. Um, once you get to the point where you're able to do this every 15 seconds or even the every 20 second, depending on the movement, you are ready then to move into uh, the next strategy, which we'll be talking about in the next video. Um, if you'd like a printout of this, we'll be making a little uh, PDF for you guys to utilize to track your way through this progression with whatever movement it is that you want to use. So print that out or save it on your phone, and we'll see you guys in the gym.